I think everything, everything starts with a clear vision. I don't know. You don't use the word vision that much in, in your materials, but I, I mean, is that okay, acceptable for what you want? Uh, or do you draw a distinction? Yeah. So when I, there's two things. I use the word, I use the word vision a lot in my coaching. I can tell you that. Um, okay. And, and, and again, I think this, I think the word goal is probably one of the most overused, underappreciated words in the English language. I mean, there's goals in sports, there's goals in kicking goals, there's goals in, you know, company goals, personal goals, all these goals. But I really like to interchange the word path with the word goal, because if, if you can't take your used car, for example, and say, well, I need $3,000 for that car, I need it. $500 down. So I need to save 10 bucks a week for a year, or I need to save 50 bucks a week for 10 weeks, or however you arrive at that. If there's not a crystal clear path to the thing that you want, yeah. it, it, it's never going to matter. I mean, those things are going to remain in what I call hope land, dream land, and wish land. You know, the someday-ers that, that say, someday I'll get to that. I, I just think that um, it's just too easy to take a goal, chop it up into a million pieces, get one of those pieces every week or every day or every month and just watch the, the progress happen and then love the anticipation of the chase. Because if you're not involved in some type of gainful chase of something, I don't know how you get out of bed in the morning. I mean, if you're not, if there's not a destination in front of you, I, you know, you can't go to the mall without envisioning I'm going to be at the mall. So what do I wear? How do I dress? I mean, where do I go? I mean, you have a destination for everything that you do. And yet when it comes to life, we seem to wait for life to happen to us instead of us happening to it, right? Yeah, you know, I've got a question. Uh, I couldn't agree with you more on every word out of your mouth. And we could talk about social media and how that's substituting for meaningful. But do you think um, having a vision, having a goal, and fewer people do today than they did when you were growing up? Or do you, I mean, has that changed? Yeah. Well, there, it's interesting that you asked that question because in the book, I write about a study that Virginia Tech did where they took a hundred people basically, and they put them in a room and they said, raise your hand if you have goals, crystal clear goals. And what they were getting at was the path. Okay. So only 20 people raised their hand and said, I have crystal clear goals. The other 80 were like just drifting through. So dismiss them. Here's the 20 people. Now they said, of the, of the 20 of you that are left, how many of you have them written down somewhere? Only four said that they had it written down. Dismiss the 16. Of the four, how many of you four have them posted somewhere like that painting I can see behind you there on the wall where you see it every single day? Sometimes twice, three times a day. Only one person had that particular mechanism in play. And they followed those people for 10 years. It's, it's no secret that that one guy made nine times more money than the other people in the control group. Mm -hmm. So it, and, and this is what I don't understand about this, guys. If, if you're living in a society where you want everyone to be non-parasitic, you want everyone to be supportive and, and contributing, why the hell are we not teaching people how to become independent thinkers? Why, why are we not teaching people how to use something that is free the visual side of your brain, you know, sit down, think of what you want, draw it out, make it crystal clear, allow that manifestation power to work because something in your brain kicks you into that gear. We don't know what that is, maybe other than the neurotransmitter bridge that people talk about. But why are we teaching that to people where, where they can say, okay, I, I now not, I, I don't have to worry about what, what or what, is the government going to provide for me when I'm older? I don't have to worry about, you know, being a parasite on society. I don't have to worry about these other things. I, I can literally allow something free in my brain that requires no money, no training, no coaching to just allow it to work, allow that power to come out and just, just drag me through life again in, in an anticipatory fashion. So yeah, that's always been a great mystery to me.